Uh, good evening. I'm Brian Humphress. I'm the city manager here for the city of Willard. Uh, we've had a bad situation happen in our town today, and with me tonight is giving you as much information as we can. Please note that this is all still under investigation, so some of the information that you're probably going to be looking for we're not going to be able to give you, but uh, the gentleman that's going to come before you now will give you as much information as he can. And this is our chief of police, Mark Holden. Um, today, about 18 minutes after 5, I uh, began receiving a series of 911 calls from the Family Dollar Store. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, original report was a man had taken, you know, gone into the store with a rifle. Um, he was made uh, a, another hostage that he had taken at gunpoint, drop him off there. She made the calls alerted us to the fact that you know, we probably had an armed robbery situation going on. Um, I apologize. I mean, we're still trying to process stuff right now. I've got, uh, right now I've got crime scene out there, BCI is investigating. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of information, and I'm, I apologize up front for you. Um, I, the information that we have right now is that 518 Family Dollar um, was taken over by a man armed with a rifle. Um, I called, I had my dispatch call. We had a OSP respond with their special response team. Uh, we had Ontario police respond with their hostage negotiation team. Uh, we had Mansfield PD respond with their ASORT team, which is another special response team. We had the Huron County Sheriff's Office on scene, plus one of our own hostage negotiators uh, maintain contact with the suspect for quite a while. Um, shortly after 8 o'clock, uh, the, there was two hostages that were taken. One of the hostages came out the back door and advised that he had shot uh, a second female hostage and then shot himself. Uh, she came out and said that the shots had been fired and then that he did shoot her. Uh, at that time, the, SR, or the SRT team that was in front of the Family Dollar, the Highway Patrol team, breached the front. Uh, by the time they reached the rear of the store, we had barricaded himself. They had found him, the suspect, uh, was dead of a uh, self-inflicted gunshot wound and a female hostage was also on the ground with a gunshot wound. Um, I don't have a whole lot of details. Uh, the suspect's name is Sean Shewitt. He's 19 years old from Mansfield. S-C-H-U-E-T-T. Uh, S-H-W-N. Yeah, I'm sorry, S-H-A-W-N. Yes. Uh, he's 19 years old, uh, originally from Mansfield. Uh, apparently, he's been living outside of uh, Willard for the last year or so. The uh, uh, Yes, probably. It was an Egypt Road address. So, um, like I said, I apologize. I don't. I mean, I just, I just came from out there. Um, I've got my entire department out there right now. Um, We've got BCI on scene. Uh, they'll be investigating the crime scene. Uh, I've been told that it's probably going to be a week or so before I get the Highway Patrol's reports and uh, Ontario PD. They took lead with, you know, as soon as Ontario showed up, they took lead with the negotiations. Um, they did, a, I mean, we did everything we could. Um, it's just unfortunate right now. The woman was alive at the scene, and she was transported to the Willard Mercy Hospital. I do not know her condition. Um, do you know her name, please? No, I don't. Do you I, know how old she is? I have no. I just, do you know if she knew the suspect? No, I don't. We have no one. Like I said, it, this is probably going to no take motive. a while. No motive. Um, you know, I, like I, said, we, I, I know very little right now other than, you know, very. 
we, I've got my detectives out talking to her right now. I don't know if, you know, I don't know what the circumstances of her release was. Um, both the hostages were females, right? Both, yes, and there they were two. Employees of the family? Yes, ma'am. And, and the first one that dropped them off was a female, too? Yes. And, and I, we have, well? she, uh, what she advised my dispatch, I, I just found out as I was walking in, she had called back and said the reason she dropped him off is he had a gun and he had the rifle held to her chest and ordered her to drop him off there and then he released her. So. Did he no, uh, we have not talked to her yet. Um, when we got on scene, she was still there right in front of the window. Um, I mean, because to get her out, I identified her at that time. Right, you know, I found out who she was. Um, we'll have our investigators speak with her, but right now. You know, all I know is that you know, he held her at gunpoint, and I don't know the circumstances of how he came into contact with her. Is he deceased? The, the gunman? Yes. Yes, he is. Yes. Yes. Do you know where he shot himself? Uh, in, I don't know. I'm assuming the head, uh, but that is just an assumption. Um, there was a manager and then a worker at the family dollar, correct? I do not know what their... Their positions were no. I just know they were two employees. That's all I. That's all I know right now. Older one and an older one. Do you know? Did the older one come out the back door? I believe right now it was the young one. I said I didn't see it. I was over um, with the with the other incident command. So, like I said, you know, the, the details that we have right now are, are you know, scarce. We're working. I've got um, one of my investigators with the other hostage. And my second investigator is at the scene right now working with BCI, so. And just one more question. Hmm? Uh, there were rumors that there were customers, including a seven-year-old, in the store. Can you confirm or deny that? I, no, not at this time. Uh, when I got there, the building had already been barricaded, uh, and there were, there were two. Only two? Only two at the time. So I, what do you mean by that he was barricaded in the back of the store? Well, he had barricaded the front. Um, he had locked the front doors, uh, piled shelves and shopping carts and stuff in front of the shelves so we to uh, try and slow us down. Yes. Uh, what they had done um, as soon as the hostage came out and said that you know he had he's, he was shooting, um, my understanding is. The, SR, the Highway Patrol SRT breached the front to make entry into the star. Blew the windows out. They, uh, I don't know if it was a flashbang or if they had a breaching uh, device that they put on. I don't know until I get the report. But when I got there, um, two of the windows had been blown out. That's how they made entry in. Um, at this point, no. I, you don't know I don't know. I, yeah, we. Uh, th I, I'm not familiar with him, but um, that doesn't mean that he hasn't had contact. Um, that's one of the things that, you know we'll investigate. But like I said I, ju I just walked. I just left down there and just walked in here. So. Do yeah. you know where the hostage was shot? What part of her body? I believe she was shot in the head as well. So. We heard chatter of life flight. Do you know if life flight was on the way here? That I, I know life flight was called. I do not. I, I don't know her status. I don't know her condition. We saw an ambulance fleeing pretty quickly, but then we saw a car pulling up and then the ambulance came out. Yes. Do you know who was that? Was that the life flight? The life flight was called for the female victim. Um, I guess they originally staged at our airport. They asked to uh, change locations out to the helipad at the, at the hospital. So we don't know if she was life I do not know. I know that the uh, bird was called for her, but I don't know that uh, she has been flighted yet. And, and just to confirm, people were gossiping that, that there were two people in the store taking hostages. It was just the one? Uh, just one. No, I, I, you know, he said it. This is, you know, I said when we were trying to talk him out. Yeah. I said, you know, right now all you're looking at is a robbery charge, and he goes, 
I'm not asking for money. I didn't rob this place. So. What the heck did he want? I can't tell you. I'm, right now I'm going to wait on uh, um, the reports that I, you know, from the negotiators that were talking with him. Um, I, I don't know his motive right now. He didn't make any demands? Uh, the only demand, he made one demand, and it was for General So's chicken. Um, that, was, that was the only General demand. What? General So's chicken. Uh, no, it was a, it was a Chinese dish. He had asked for Chinese food. Um, Did you guys get him chicken? We went to get it, yeah. But, uh, I mean, the, excuse me? He delivered it to him? No, we did not deliver it at the time. So. But he had it? We, we did get it for him. But that was the only demands that were made. So, so he didn't want any? He didn't He was ask, not asking, you know, it was not a, apparently robbery was not the motive. What, a, what the motive is, I mean, I, I do not know. Do you identified him? Yes. What's his name? Sean Schuett, S C H U E T T. 19 yeah, years old. Huh? From where? Uh, originally from Mansfield. I guess he's been a resident of Centerton for about uh, probably the last year. Um, but I, I apologize for not having more details. It's just, I mean, this thing is still, like I said, we're still working on it. So. Thank you. You too. I know they, um, they brought up the woman that he's been living with. I think his grandmother or some kind of relationship. Yeah, there was one relative that we, you know, there were several relatives at the scene. Did anybody talk to him? Yes. Any, what, yes. What were the relatives saying to him? Uh, I mean, same thing we were. Come on out. No one's been hurt yet. Yeah, everyone was trying to talk him out. So. Did he suffer from a uh, diagnosed mental illness? That I couldn't tell you yet. Um, said we've we will have to we've got to interview the family um, and except we're still I mean we're still at the crime scene right now we haven't had a chance to do any follow-up yet so a 22 rifle so S C H U E T T yes yes Did the witness come out the back door right after you heard shots, or was it before? We heard never shots? heard the shots. We never heard. We never heard. Uh, I mean, the uh, the SRT team on the front was, you know, they were waiting because we were still in the negotiations, and he had threatened to shoot the hostages if he hears anybody breach the you know, the doors, windows, whatever. Said so if he heard any strange noises, he would shoot the hostages. Um, except at the uh, right. Before the SRT team went in, the, host, the, the one that, was, that made it out came out and said that he's shooting. Shots are fired. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I mean, we had people right there on the front and the back, and no one heard the shots. But it, I mean, it was a small caliber weapon. Uh, chances are you probably wouldn't have heard it. And Mark, as soon as, yeah, as soon as the hostage came out and said that you know he's shooting, they went. Yes. Is her, do you know what he looks like? No, I don't. Yeah. I, I, no. Because I have a picture. It was the was it was the uh, I don't have anybody in here right now. Um, like I said, I've got I've got my guys everywhere. They're stretched out everywhere. I don't have anybody extra. Maybe I can send it to you tomorrow. And sure. What's the investigation look like now? What are you going to be going forward? Uh, right now, it's. Um, I've got the Ohio State Highway Patrol because of their actions. Uh, their, I don't want to say their actions. Uh, their activity, um, they have to do their reports. Um, Ontario PD is going to do an after-action report. Uh, as they were the lead on the negotiations, we have to await their report. Uh, BCI is doing the crime scene investigation. We'll have to wait their report. Yeah, I, and yeah, it's gonna. You know, it, it, this investigation could take weeks. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.